Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to create our colored pencil activity. All right, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create boxes. All right, so I've got six boxes. Now, what I want you to do is divide those top three in half. Okay, so for the top, what we're gonna do for this first box is use the side of our pencil, and then for the bottom, we're gonna add pressure and use the point. Okay, so with this activity, you can use any color that you want. All right, so let's begin by using the side. Okay, you're not applying a lot of pressure. You're just filling in the space by using your hatching technique. The bottom, use the point. Okay, and here I'm applying a lot of pressure. Okay, so for this next box, what we're gonna do is called tonal blending. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two colors. I'm gonna use a side for the top. Nice and light. And for the bottom, I'm going to use the point. Okay, you're applying a lot of pressure. Take your next color, using the side at the top. And then the bottom, I'm using the point. Okay, whenever you apply a lot of pressure, what you're doing is you're blending these two colors together. This is also called burnishing. All right, so for this next box, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a gradient. Okay, you're going to take two colors and you're going to meet them in the middle. So for the top, I'm using the side. Okay, and especially whenever you get to the middle, you're going to be really dark or light. Okay, and then you're going to meet it on the other side. Okay, and then for the bottom, you're gonna use the point. Okay, but still get light whenever you get to the center. Okay, and then go back over it. Blend those two colors together.
All right, so for this next box, what we're gonna do is called hatching. You're gonna hatch with colored pencils. Okay, this next one's gonna be cross hatching. Okay, so you're gonna take any color and you're just gonna fill it in. Okay, cross hatching, you're gonna cross your lines. We'll start out going diagonally. Okay, cross hatching creates texture. Okay, and then for this last one, what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna use a toothpick. Now I really like to show this one, especially for my students that have heavy hands. Okay, especially if you're digging the paper. So what you can do is just do any design with a toothpick. Take another color and you're gonna shade over it. As you can see, it's impressed on the paper. You always wanna sketch light until you get it right. Especially if you have a he heavy hand, you'll realize that your paper will all be filled with these marks. Okay, so that's it for our color pencil activity. Hope you enjoyed.